Hello friends! Today we will talk about four Muslims who led the leaders of today's scientists like Einstein, Da Vinci and Newton. The first flying human in history was Abu al-Qasim Abbas ibn Firnas. What? Really? I thought it were the Wright brothers. In the 9th century, about 1020 years before the Wright brothers, Ibn Firnas, like he says in his statement, is the first person to attempt a scientific flight in the history of mankind. It was deliberate that he could stay in the air for a long time and do soft landings with his own designed device. The NASA called a crater in space even by Ibn Firnas' name due to his influence in the scientific world. Beside that, Ibn Firnas has different works in the area of chemistry, physics and astronomy. And with his own special methods and by using different stones, he produced glasses. For the very first time, he also invented eyeglasses by discovering how to straighten glass. And since we are talking about eyeglasses, the second one is the finder of optical science, Ibn Haytham. He lived in the 10th century. And with his works in physics and mathematics, which were translated in European language, the astronomer Ibn Haytham led scientists like Kepler, Newton, Galileo and Da Vinci. In his work, Book of Optics, he worked in detail on the anatomy of the eye, on the functions of the eye, on its light and sight ability, and on hundreds of other issues like the breaking of light on transparent objects. His leadership let him go down in history as the father of optics. More than that, he found the photographic model. Therefore, Ibn Haytham is the first to have used the dark room. The third one is the leader of medicine, Ibn al-Nafis. He is a Muslim who described the pulmonary circulation of the blood 300 years before Europe did. He was the first schooler who brought out scientific works. He concentrated himself more on the reason of the disease outbreaks than on their treatments. For being the first to describe that the heart pumps the blood through the venules to the whole body and for describing the metabolism notion, he is accepted as the biggest physiologist of the Middle Age. The fourth one is the pioneer of the relativity theory, Abu Yusuf al-Kindi. Abu Yusuf al-Kindi was the first known Muslim philosopher in Europe in the 9th century. In his view, philosophy had the aim to reach Allah. With this intent, he wrote 277 works from 20 different fields of knowledge. He was the first person who found the frequency analysis in cryptology. What makes him stand out is the fact that he found the relativity theory ages before Einstein. He also dealt with astrology and described the universe as a globe and said it could not be in an internal expanse. There are thousands of Muslim scientists like them who are mentioned in history books as the pioneers in almost every range. They started with their ideas with the help of the lessons of the Holy Quran and mostly become successful. The history is witness of the fact that whenever the people of Islam were able to identify themselves with their faith, whenever they clinched to their religion, they have been able to evolve themselves and rise up according to their time. Whenever they have left this hold, they have fallen. We say goodbye with the words of our Prophet Wasallam. Seeking knowledge is an obligation upon every Muslim. May we all never lose the way of knowledge. Assalamu alaikum.